Well, a sunny day today, but some storms are on the way. Let's bring in meteorologist Steve Salzno with a look at what we can expect. Hey, Steve. Hey there, Kelsey. Yeah, perfect scenario, though, for anybody that is really kind of living a normal weekend here. These storms come through while you're sleeping tonight and gone by the time you wake up tomorrow morning. They really don't interfere with anything other than you may want to shut the windows here later on tonight, especially Baltimore Point's North, that line may fall apart to the south and east. A live look there from our harbor camera. That purple hits a little different tonight after a Ravens wind. Uh, let's take a look at what we're expecting here. Weather headlines: a few overnight strong storms possible. No warnings in Maryland as I speak, so that's good news. We did have some uh, pretty high-end warnings earlier this evening, so we're uh, thankful to see this line of storms is weakening. It's a sunny and hot Sunday ahead of us. Temperatures up into the 90s. A few severe storms possible here Monday evening, Monday night and into early Tuesday morning before that system moves out of here. Once that moves out, we're in good shape here for an extended stretch of days. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and maybe even into next weekend. It will grow hotter, but at least it looks nice and quiet and storm-free. Storms tonight on the radar picture up in central Pennsylvania. This part of the line is actually strengthened a bit, but this part of the line has weakened substantially here in the last half hour or so. We were concerned because this was barreling in and showing no signs of weakening. Luckily, here in the last about 15-20 minutes, we've seen a decrease and the number of lightning strikes, but we'll continue to keep an eye on it. Don't be surprised if you hear some claps of thunder tonight and also hear those downpours on your roof. Severe thunderstorm watch from Washington County on west toward the West Virginia border until about 2 in the morning. That watch is not going to be extended to the east as of the latest discussion. So storms 1, 2 in the morning, certainly possible. We think many of these will not be severe, so just some downpours and some rumbles of thunder. And then by the time you're waking up here tomorrow morning, we're in good shape. Temperatures in the middle 70s. 93 today in Baltimore City. That was your high temperature. Tomorrow, it'll be very similar, but with lower levels of humidity. When you see 70s on the dew point map, you know that's tropical. That's air you can wear. Tomorrow, those will mix down here. So we're back into more manageable territory. So the heat tomorrow doesn't feel quite as intense in the afternoon hours. This is what I'm talking about. Let's talk about our actual temperature. You can see up here on the top of these bars, 89 feels like 92 during the peak heat of the afternoon. Instead of feeling like 96 or 97, it'll feel like 93 or 94. Low 90s in most of the state here tomorrow, upper 80s, western Maryland. Severe weather risk, it's just a one out of five, but this is a day three outlook for Monday. So we'll keep an eye on it. It looks like the warm front lifting on through here Monday evening, Monday night could ignite some storms. We're concerned because there is a little bit of rotation in the atmosphere should that happen here. This is by uh, Monday evening, 8, 9 o'clock. There could be some stronger storms. Again, this is just one model, but our eyes are on it. And once we get through Monday night, we're going to be in much better shape by Tuesday afternoon. But stay with us. We'll be fine tuning that forecast as severe weather is certainly possible here Monday night into Tuesday morning. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Friday and Saturday, that forecast is easy as pie. Temperatures mid to upper 80s and lower humidity. Kelsey.